Island. Right now, though, climate change is haunting our forests, creating real life ghosts and zombies. Sea level rise and the salt water it brings are killing countless acres of forests. Meantime, our warming planet could also be driving another frightening phenomenon in the shadow of massive wildfires. National climate reporter Chase Kane shows us two haunting effects of climate change. Down a dirt road through a forest still very much alive, Delaware Bay is haunted by death, a ghost forest. As the salt comes in, it poisons. It poisons things, it floods the soils and saturates it, and it kills these forests. As sea level rise accelerates, it brings salt water farther inland, creating fields of wooden tombstones, ghost forests. Estimates vary, but potentially millions of acres of coastal forest have been lost to saltwater intrusion, accelerated by climate change. Ghost forests are a double whammy because living trees absorb carbon dioxide, right? And a healthy forest is also a carbon sink, storing carbon and keeping it out of the atmosphere and out of our oceans. So when an entire forest dies, whether from saltwater or wildfires, all that stored carbon is released back into the atmosphere further heating our planet. Wildfires of the past can also come back to haunt the present. They're known as zombie fires. And they have this zombie behavior. They go underground in the fall and winter months, and they can carry over in terms of continuing to combust in the ground fuels, uh, sometimes right underneath the snowpack, right through the winter, and then they emerge like a zombie the following spring. Merit Turetsky studies zombie fires across Canada and Alaska, and she wants to find out if climate change is helping more undead fires rise from an icy grave each spring. So what it means is through this zombie burning, fire years may not be totally independent on the landscape. One fire year might actually affect the next fire season, particularly given the extreme amount of resources and just human stress and toil and capital that went into fighting the fires across Canada in 2023. Truly an epic fire year. Which produced those eerie orange skies no one wants to live through again. In New York, I'm National Climate Reporter Chase Kane.